Well, I think every young person should have a voice in resolving loads of types of bullying. It makes them feel really, really sad or really confident because they might not know how to deal with it or um, they might not know who to go. They should listen to young people so then they get their own voice because if they don't then they feel sad inside and then they can't get their voice out. For disabled people it would be quite hard for them but if they have some more support, then they can actually get their voice out of um, how they've been bullied. Bullying is a, um, I think it stems from people's attitudes and lack of un not understanding, so lack of understanding around certain issues. So for disability, etc., they might feel um, like they, they don't understand it, so they feel they need to pick on that person's what they view as a weakness when really they understood what the young person, what a young disabled person was going through, it might be a different story. When a young person's listened to it, it makes them feel good, and when a person's not listened to it, it makes them feel not so good. When a young person feels listened to, it's, um, it's very positive in, in in terms of, you know, um, for their self-esteem and getting them, their voices heard about the situation around bullying um, and it can really aid the process. When a young person is involved in sorting out their bullying issue, it's a really positive step because it can make them feel valued, listened to and also, hopefully, in the future, they probably could help others in the same situation. I think it would make a huge difference for the young disabled person to be able to be feel they can speak freely and to feel included with what they've been involved in. And if they, if they don't feel comfortable face to face, then they should be able to write things in the feedback box and be anonymous. The action plan is um, to keep the young person informed, to have evidence. Because um, I think ha like the young person having their own evidence as well as you know, writing about their bullying issues is important. And so the action plan is for the team to work together and with the team of people having different strengths within that team they can all help the young person get, be kept informed. The quiet room could help the person calm down and think about what they've done and they can come back to the classroom and not feel angry anymore. Teachers need to listen when they talk about bullying. Yeah. Um, they'll probably be like more happy and then they can get to sleep. They won't have no worries and then they'll probably like be, be more independent. I think that having anti-bullying plans and bullying policies are really good but it's kind of taking that from the paper if you like and making sure that they is actually actioned because there's nothing worse than <laughs> a school saying that they adhere to a policy when actually it's not being, you can, you can say or you think it's not being adhered to. So uh, you need to make sure that your policies are up to date and you actually um, do carry them through. <laughs> One tip I would give would be to create a leaflet, an accessible leaflet with photographs and sections to read, but with an explanation of what maybe more detailed words meant. You could use cards, um, awareness cards possibly of different disabilities. So for example, deaf blind, you could have that as the title and then have an explanation of what it actually is and how it can affect someone and how you can help them.